So today we're gonna talk about a commercial that I shot. So if you guys don't know, I own multiple film studios, but I do own one casino style film set and just happened for me to be in a liquor store and happened to catch a beer can that had a King's poker card on the actual beer can. And that itself drew me in to wanna make this commercial. So this is a spec ad. Now I haven't posted three other commercials that I've tried, but this was my first time trying it with people in the video. Normally we'll just get a product and we'll do the video itself. And I have breakdowns on those coming soon. But for this one in particular, we had a poker table already in my film set and I wanted to incorporate people playing poker and how do we make this better than what it can be? Instead of just being all about a beer can, can we implement it within a video with people playing poker? So anyways, let's go ahead and show you guys, I guess, first the video so you guys can see what it is, what it turned out to be. Let's play it real quick. Welcome to King Minutia. Where strategy meets thrill and every hand is all shot at glory. Feel the rush as you gather round the table, armed with wit and or thirst for victory. The stakes are high, the competition fierce. But fear not, for you hold the key to triumph. King Minutia. The game that takes Bokanites to a whole new level. So what do you guys think of the outcome? Overall, it was fun, really experimenting. By the way, the idea, the plan, the team, everything was put together the same exact day. I literally put everything together. I think at 10 a.m., I started getting the idea. We got the beer can, and then it was up to me to get the props, get the team together, you know, try to get a structure in place. So everything was done the same day. So let's get started with the gear that we use for this video. So the camera that we use for this video, as always, if you guys follow my channel, you guys know I use the Sony A7S III, and we only use two lenses for this video, and that is the Sigma 35mm 1.4 lens, and we also use the Sigma 105 macro lens f2.8. So those are the only two lenses that we use throughout the whole video. We use the tripod as well, and we also use the fog machine that we use throughout the whole shoot in order to kind of give it an atmosphere and just bring it out more. The one gear that we didn't use that normally I'll implement it maybe here and there within a video is a gimbal, but just the thought in my head of trying to create this scene, I didn't see a gimbal whatsoever. But now let's talk about lighting. What I wanted to do for this shoot is I wanted, so ideally the goal was to get this done in three hours. However, that didn't happen. It took about seven hours to get it done. So way longer than expected. But at least throughout the shoot, I wanted the, all the lights to be rigged overhead. So that way it didn't counter when we're moving the tripod around or the slider. There's no C stands, there's no lights getting in the way. So the lights that we use for this scene, we used the Nanlite Pavel tubes. We put them all the way in the back on top of the slot machines. And then as far as the overhead for me, my homie John and Edwin, that we were the poker players, we used the Forza 150B and that one was with a softbox and a honeycomb grid on it. And we also used the Amaran F22C as an overhead. Same thing with the softbox and the honeycomb grid, just to control the lighting. Those are the lights that we use that stay stationary for the most part. All right, so what did I learn when it came down to this commercial before we get started is they are not easy. Um, I've done, as I mentioned, four videos prior to this one. So I've been doing a lot because I'm trying to build my portfolio to reach out to clients and have a lot of work to back it up. And hopefully they love the consistency that I've been able to do these commercial jobs. But this one we had people and I've always liked watching them on TV. The last three videos were just a product. So let's get started with the first shot and I have my phone right here so I'm able to kind of break it down. So as you guys are watching, on the very back on top of the slots, we had all those power tools on the overhead and they're beaming down blue. So I thought that was a cool backlight and having the slot machine colors just basically bring out the other pop, the you know the different colors that the slot machines tend to give. This shot was by far the hardest and what took us so long and that's the reason why we ended up going an extra four hours or so is because 
I wanted a shot where the cart that was basically driving the, the vase with the beers on top and it was delivering it to the poker players. That shot, I wanted it to be perfectly white. I'm pretty sure you guys seen custom rigs when you're watching a commercial where like if the beer can was to go up and someone's drinking it, there's like a rig where it kind of follows the motion and it's perfect. A gimbal's not gonna do it, handheld's not gonna do it. You have to legit set up a custom rig so it moves with it. So I set up or I try to set up a clamp. I did so many things to try to implement, whether it was a gimbal, anything to clamp onto the golden cart so it can just stay consistent and is moving with it. The same motion is not getting ahead of me, it's not getting you know close to me, it's staying the same distance as it's getting delivered to the poker players. However, the biggest downfall we had was one, it was bouncing a lot because it is on a rug and it's uneven, so it's just kind of like, just, you know, just moving too much. So we were just trying so many things. I tried the gimbal. Um, I even tried taking it out and, and doing a gimbal shot to see if that's gonna work. But obviously like it was just, it wasn't perfect. It was either too far, too close. You couldn't match that. So it was just so many problems at the end. If you guys saw, it was a little wobble that I kind of just live with it because it is a spec ad. It wasn't a real shot. If it was a real shot, this shoot could have gone an extra two, three hours because I would have had to pick something up or figure out a way to get this shot done because I'm really you know, big on getting the shot done the right way, but for now it'll do. And what we did in order for the beer cans to pop is we had the Amran, or no, it's not the Amran, the Aperture Infinity Bar, and we had it with the honeycomb grid, and I had, I'm not sure if it was my girl that was holding it, or maybe some, or maybe the BTS Joseph was holding it. And as we were moving it, basically it was just someone was holding it following the cart. And that was just to directly hit the beer cans it, that way, they pop and it's just, they're the center of the attention. Like, yes, we're playing in the background, but still the beer cans are the center of attention as it's leading you into the poker game. And now as we're going through the video, if you guys are paying real good attention to it or you guys have headphones on, the sound design is really crucial from when the poker cards are getting shuffled to the beer drop and you hear like the gold. Sound design is really important, and for me, that was one thing that I'm starting to get it really heavy into. Now, I'm not the best when it comes into it. I'm still trying to maneuver and practice and whatnot, but sound design was something I really went heavy on this, and uh, again, I don't know if you guys noticed it or not, but if you guys did, let me know what you guys think. It was something that I was new to. So as I'm editing this, I actually forgot to mention one of the most important things that you guys should know when you guys are gonna shoot these commercials, and I learned this by shooting the last three videos and this new one to understand that you will have to buy props. There's always things to add. For this one, we bought cups. Also, we bought multiple beers. We didn't just buy that one beer can. We had to get multiple. We got eight total, and that's because I knew my shot selection already. So in case we needed to go a little bit over, we would, we would have had extra. So I think we were left with two extra ones, which is always good. Just a lot of things that you just never know. For example, the vase, we had to get styrofoam. The styrofoam worked to put it in the vase to elevate the, the beer cans. And then the fake ice was there just to put it around. And the last prop, and it's a high valuable prop I can tell you guys to get is a little spray mist and put water in there. Cause when you're filming these beer cans, if you want them to look tasty, cold, just good, make sure you guys have a little spray bottle with you, spray here and there. So you can have that drip coming down the beer can and just give it that extra, you know, taste that, that we all want to get to our shots. So props is a big key when it comes to these videos. And now let's go back to the video and finish it off. Typically for these type of videos, you want to have a macro lens on site just because you just never know when you want to get those really close up detail shots. And then you want to have like a medium or a wide lens just in case you want to implement more of the scene. For this one, ideally we just kept it at 35 mil and we kept it at 105 for all the close car shots, the eye shots. The last tip I can tell you guys is pay close attention and try to give a detail when it comes down to your commercials. So the one thing that I was trying to do, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, so the winner of this poker tournament, how did he win? I'm not sure if you guys caught on to that. He won with three kings and two sevens. He had a full house, but he had three kings. So I wanted to implement because the beer can itself had a king on the beer can itself. So I wanted to go ahead and make sure I'm pushing for it in a low key kind of way where it's still three kings. That is the beer can. So, you know, I was trying to just kind of keep that going. It would be awkward if the jack won when realistically the beer can had a king. So little details like that pay really good attention to it because that's what's going to sell or break and it's going to maybe scale you up to to a future job so that's what i was trying to do when it came down to this whole video and at the end always keep in mind when you're shooting these type of videos 
this is just something that I watch from watching TV and these commercials pop up. Always have that hero shot at the end where it's just displayed further away. It could either be animation on its own or you can actually have it on scene and have it blurred out with whatever was happening throughout the video. It's just in the back and the main subject at that point that's in focus is the product itself. So I had the drink, I had the beer can right next to it. And then just to make the beer pop a little bit, my homie Jay, which was a DP for this shoot, he actually recommended me to go ahead and add the aperture mini light that I have. It's a six inch infinity bar, but it's like the smaller one. And we placed it on the side tungsten and it allowed the drink the, to pop a lot more. Overall, that's it for today's video. Again, it's something fun. If you guys are really trying to make something you know, out there, you guys are trying to get into a certain area in, the, in your filming career, then go out there and build your portfolio. But all I know is we got the job done in one day. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. Appreciate you guys if you guys took this long. Peace out. Welcome to King Minutia. Where strategy meets thrill and every hand is all shot at glory. Feel the rush as you gather round the table, armed with wit and or thirst for victory. The stakes are high, the competition fierce. But fear not, for you hold the key to triumph. King Minutia the game that takes Bokanites to a whole new level.